Back with another lesson, Lord willing to be edified. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabra Kakudash. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to you, Akim and Akwaf that believe and have faith in Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in these last days. Uh, I just just got another video going into the judgments of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, man. And this is the time we continue to. to, to um, to um, push out the word and to give our, our people a way out, man, because this is the time to repent before all hell breaks loose. Uh, this first little article, like uh, it was a headline to an article, and it says uh, people on Twitter are warning women in D.C. to be careful as three women were recently kidnapped months apart from, I guess, the, from St. I guess St. or Street and found dead in Woodruff. I'm not familiar with D.C., but they was found dead in um, a Waldorf. So, man, this, this judgment is going out heavy, man. And it's all on, 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 on two-thirds of our people, man. This is uh, off Facebook. It says, 34-year-old Courtney was an airport worker. She was responsible for luggage ab aboard the airplane before taking off and landing. The crew was trained to wait for the pilot to turn off all engines before walking towards the plane. Courtney approached the plane before the pilot turned off all engines. Courtney was sucked into the plane's engine and died. The co-pilot said the plane shook violently. Courtney had three children. And it goes into the GoFundMe, man. So, so <laughs> man, the Lord is not playing, man. Great judgments are on the earth. And two thirds of our people are seeing it firsthand, man. This is um, the Houston rapper Pokey, Big Pokey, um, passed out and died, man. Stop playing with him, Big Pokey. <laughs> oh, So more likely, man, um, you know, had a heart attack or something right there on stage, man. And it continues, man. And that's why we want our people to wake up and, be oh, this horrific and believe incident. in this and we're word. We're doing man. this together because it's yeah. a tough thing for the whole community to grapple with. And tonight, Ardelia Gonzalez is in Northeast with the search for the criminals who ended this mother's life and left the baby without a mother. <sighs> That is an awful situation, of course, but I have to tell you, Les Lorenzo, I just got off the phone with a police spokesperson less than five minutes ago, and I do have a bit of good news out of a terrible story here. We just got word that the baby is expected to survive. Right now, that baby is listed in critical but stable condition in the hospital. That is a bit of good news, some levity, a bit of relief for the folks who are dealing with a very heavy, horrible story here in Northeast. Right now we're live off Dick Street. This is right off Minnesota Avenue. Police say this is where the shooting kind of ended. They say the victims drove here, drove here about two minutes to this location after their car was shot up. Let's take a look at some video shot earlier from the scene. Police describe this as nothing short of an ambush. The pregnant woman was the passenger in this vehicle that we have counted more than a dozen bullet holes in the windshield and in the driver's side window. The man who was driving is expected to survive. This all started on the 300 block of 37th Street Southeast. That is less than a mile away. Police say several surveillance cameras in this corridor captured two men with assault rifles jumping out of their car running towards the victim's parked car and firing multiple shots into that car. They took off, they say, the suspects took off, and now police are hoping the community can help once surveillance video is released. One is wearing a white uh, sweat hoodie with dark pants. The other one is wearing all dark clothing, and they both are clearly holding assault rifles. They immediately fire, fire into the vehicle, and then they flee in this four-wheel white sedan. 
<sighs> I'm too sensitive for this. I can't take it. Because it's sad and I don't like to see this happen. And I just keep praying for a better community. So there you go, man. All hell is about to break loose in Babylon and great, man. As well as that's going, two-thirds of being judged, the Lord is setting up Esau to come in like a flood on Jake, man. So in yesterday's video I made about the uh, military mobilizing and all the military action going on in the country, so I, put, I asked everybody to put in comments if you've seen something going on in your town so we can kind of see if it's maybe it's just a certain area, maybe it's a training exercise, maybe it's not a big deal. You know, so these are the places that people commented that said they had something going on in their area. I have a hard time believing that this is just a training exercise in all these areas. It's quite a large list. Seems like a large list to me. I don't know. Maybe you won't think it's so large. Maybe somebody with military experience on here will be able to comment and say, hey, nope, that's normal. I find it unusual. Here's the list. San Diego, Michigan, Baker's Bay. Bakersfield, California, South Jersey, St. Louis, North Dakota, Philly, New York City, Yosemite, California, Idaho Falls, Vermont, Illinois, Indiana. Can there's a lot going on in Canada supposedly also from people commenting. LA, San Fran, Ohio. Utah, Jacksonville, Florida, New Mexico, Boston, Massachusetts, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, Colorado, Kansas City, Missouri, New Orleans, Virginia, Miami, Florida. Several people from Miami, Florida, uh, from Florida, commenting. All these people mentioning they have some kind of this. Uh, what you saw behind me a little bit ago was in, actually in Mexico. Large military presence in Mexico, which you never know with the cartels. That could just be from the cartels. It's hard to say. But when you see helicopters like this flying through the air, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a military guy. Uh, it seems like I count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 places I named that have military presence, military activity. That seems like a lot for a training exercise, people. I had a lot of comments saying it's just a training exercise. Stop fear mongering. That's a lot of places where they're having training exercises. Yeah, so they're gearing up, man. They are gearing up. If you ain't mentally and spiritually awoken to what's coming, you're doomed, man. Mario Malikas has put the national security of the United States at risk. Terrorists, suspected terrorists, and enemies of our nation have flooded across our borders. We've previously reported the numbers for the terrorists and the terrorist watch list. But I want to break a little news today. You thought the Chinese spy balloon was bad. This chart here depicts a massive surge in Chinese nationals, many of whom are military age men, many with known ties to the PLA, ties to the CCP, who have crossed our southern border and just been released by Secretary Mayorkas into the United States. We have no idea who these people are. And it's very likely, using Russia's template of sending military personnel into, the, the, into Ukraine, China is doing the same in the United States. We already know that there's a Chinese listening station just across 90 miles of ocean in Cuba. So you're telling you plainly, man, they know something big is going to happen. And um, the men of the Lord... When the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, man, been warning you of the things that the Hal Bashim Al Shai has set up for it to come, man. Because we know judgment of the Lord is, is here at hand, man. And I don't know how much longer the Lord is going to have the men of the Lord on the highways and byways and on the internet, man. Because things are moving fast. 
We go wake up tomorrow, no internet, no lights, no no running water, no gas. It's, it's that time, man. And we know they have to do some major before they can bring in this MOTB. This is uh, 1 Peter 4, and I'm going to drop down to four, four, verse 17. It says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of our power. So the children of Israel is the is the Lord's um the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And if and if first begins at us, what shall be the end? What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of power, man? So you don't know your end if you're not in this truth, man. You don't know what's coming if you're not in this truth, man. You don't know what to do when this truth is taken off the airways, man. You ain't gonna have nowhere to run to, man. And that's why we do the lessons to warn you of what's coming. To have you prepared mentally and spirit in the name and power you have by Shem Yahweh Shah for you and your family to be protected. Because it's it's not only dependent on yourself. If you know, if you got a family, man, the Lord can have mercy on your family as well, man. So, so you you want to be able to have your family to escape the judgments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Just as well as yourself. So this is this is very important, man. So you know what I'm saying? Get in this truth, get in this word, pre prepare your family, your, your mind, and your minds of your family, man. You know, the ones that were here. And I'm talking about your near family, like your wife and your children. I ain't talking about your mom and your auntie. And, uh, and the Lord, more likely, if they ain't coming into this truth, the Lord more likely is not going to have mercy on them, man. This is Jeremiah 4, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, If thou wilt return, O Israel, Say you how about Shem Yahweh Shah, return unto me. See, the Lord is telling you, return unto him. And if thou wilt put away thy abominations out of thy sight, then shall thou be then shall thou not remove. See that? The Lord won't put you away if you repent and return to him. And thou shalt swear, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nations shall bless themselves in him. And in him shall they glory that they glory. And that's talking about you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. If you return to the Lord and glory in him, then you will be protected, man. You will be protected in the time that's coming, man. Though some will be martyrs in this truth, but the majority of the children of Israel that have repented and returned, the elect, I will just clarify like that to say the elect are going to be protected, man. And they're going to be able to escape the judgments, man. They're going to have that mark of exemption in, in um, Ezekiel 9 and 4. So that's what, what our goal is, man. That's what we're pushing for you to, to make it just as well as us, man. Verse 3 says, For thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, break up your fellow, fellow, fellow ground. Let me make sure I'm pronouncing that right. Follow ground. We. Plow and hold, but left unsown for a period in order to restore its fertility as part of a crop rotation or to avoid surplus products. Let's see how it's pronounced. Let's make sure I pronounce it correctly. Fallow. Fallow. I had it right. To break, um, break up your fallow ground. And to sow not among thorns. So basically, don't sow among the people that don't believe in this truth, man. If, if we wasting our energy on people that don't believe in your how about Shem Shah, man. They want to debate about it and say this ain't coming. Those people are done, man. Those are the thorns, man. So we sowing to the hopeful elect, man. The ones that believe like we believe and the ones that are taking their mind and understand like this all makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like-minded people, man. Because the the judgment is here. Four, it says, circumcise yourselves till you how about Shem Shah and take away the foreskins of your heart, man. So put away the world the way the world thinks. Put away uh well um this gonna happen, this gonna nah, man. Put that put that away, man. Put all the things that you think in your mind, put that away, man, and believe in your how about Shem Shah. And the believer will report the Lord, uh, the Lord's men are uh, bringing out, man. Circumcise yourselves to your how about Shem Shah, and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. 
least my fury come forth like fire. So you put away your thoughts, man, of the world. Because the first, the first anger you have about Shemi al is here. It says, and burn that none can quench it because of your e because of the evil of your doings. See that? So put away your the way you think of in this world, man. Put that away, man. Because the fierce anger you have about Shemi al is here. And there's no no one gonna be able to turn the Lord's wrath away, man. No one. So it's the time to repent, man, and return to your by Shem Shah, man. Five, it says, Declare ye in Jer Judah and publish in Jerusalem, and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together, and say, and say, assemble yourselves, and let us go in to the defense cities, man. So this will be blowing the trumpet now, man, warning you that destruction is coming, man. Blowing the trumpet daily, warning you destruction is coming, man. The Lord's hand is on this place, man. And he's on his people to bring judgment. You know what I'm saying? It says, let us go into the defense cities, man. And that's the that's the um the inhabitants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. The the word. That's the only defense you're gonna have when the Lord's wrath comes. It's him. Set set up a standard towards Zion. See that we set up a standard towards the children of Israel, man. Retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north. And a great destruction, man. And most of our, most of you, two thirds, are in the north country, man. America, Babylon the Great. So the Lord telling you that um, we setting up a standard, man. Be prepared spiritually for your Al Bashim Al Shah's return, because the, the, the next scripture he tells you, he, the, verse seven, it says, "The lion has come up from his thicket. The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way, man. He is going forth from his place." To make the to make the the thy land desolate, and thy cities shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. See that the Lord is coming, man. Before He comes, He's going to bring judgment on our two thirds of our people, and then the ones that escape the judgment before He comes are going to get hit with them, them chariots, the concentrated fire coming out of them chariots, and going to get hit with those thermonuclear missiles, man. So the warning is going out. And the, the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way, just like he said, man. Drop it down in verse 18, it says, Thy ways and thy doings are have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reacheth in unto thy heart, man. Your ways have reached into your heart, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you think in your mind... The heart being in love in the Hebrew, they mean mind, man. The ways, the ways of your heart have corrupted your whole body, man. You don't, you don't. Most people don't like correction, man. And to come in this truth, you have to have, you have to understand correction to know this is for the greater good for you and your families, man. Because the Lord is 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 preparing us mentally and spiritually for the things that He has coming up on the earth, man. I'm gonna start at verse 17. It says. As keepers of a field are that are they against her round about, because she have been rebellious against me, said Yahweh Bashem And that's talking about us, us, uh, the two thirds of our people, man. You've been rebellious against the Lord. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. See the judgments you have you have um, made these judgments come upon you because of your wickedness, man. This is thy wickedness because it is bitter. Because it reacheth unto thy heart, man. And that's and that's and that's a true statement, man. The ways of our people have, have corrupted their minds, man. You know what I'm saying? The women want to get BBLs and um, um, lips and eyes and all type of shit done, man. Not knowing judgment is coming, man. Want to take a bunch of trips, not knowing the Lord is bringing the judgments. The light and power can be cut out any day, man. This is the time to repent. It ain't no time to have jo uh, joy and have fun. No, man. And the scripture go into the Ecclesiastes 3 goes into the time of everything, man. And we're in a time of war, man. Spiritual war. New Living Translation, it says, your own actions have brought this upon you. See that? The Lord said your own actions have brought the judgments upon you. This punishment is bitter, piercing you to the heart. That's plain, man. 
This is going to be a bitter judgment the Lord is going to have come upon the earth, man. And as I read in the beginning, that for that girl that got sucked into a, a motor or, or the airplane, he said the, 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 the co-pilot said the plane shook violently. So you can imagine how she was chopped up in the blades of that man, of that airplane, man. And that's a very gruesome death, man. And the, and the other girl, she was pregnant, man. And the Lord had the car get shot up, man. So the Lord, the Lord has no mercy. He's not going to have any mercy in the times that's coming, man. This is the time to repent, man. Good News Translation says, Judah, you have brought this on yourself. Woo! By the way you have lived and by the things you have done. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. Your sin has caused the suf this suffering. It has, uh, it has stabbed you through the heart, man. So the Lord is telling you a brutal judgment is coming, man. And these scriptures are not, not um, you can't get around them, man. This is plain. Plain as you can ever get, man. Plain. So the brutal judgment is coming, man. Brutal judgment. This is Romans 1. And I'm going to just get the points and um, start at verse 20. It says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clear, clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that they are without excuse, man. So you're going to be without excuse because everything was before you. You've seen the men of the Lord on the highways and byways. You've seen the lessons daily on YouTube and on various different um, social medias. You're going to be without excuse when the judgment comes. Verse 21, it says, because that when they knew power, they glorified him not as power. See that? You knew the Lord, but you didn't glorify him as a Lord. Man, you thought the Lord was never going to come. You thought it was a so-called white man. You thought the judgments of the Lord are never going to come, man. You put it off. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination. See that? Our people became vain in their imaginations. They thought the Lord was never going to come back, man. They thought the Lord was never going to bring judgment on the earth. They thought Esau's kingdom was going to last forever, man. And their foolish heart was darkened. See that? The Lord made your foolish mind darken, man, that you wouldn't see the destruction coming. Even though we put it out there, you still wouldn't see it coming. And this is the judgment of the Lord, man. It says, professing themselves to be wise. See that? Oh, the Lord love me. I'm a, I can do whatever I want to do. You know, my pastor said this and all that. You you profess yourself to be wise, but all of all all along you was a damn fool. They became fools, man, and changed the glory of the un, of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible men. See that you changed the Most High Power, Yahweh by Shem Shah, to a so called white man you called Jesus and believed that he had power to save you. That's what our people did, man. They changed all these gods, Buddha. You can go through the list of them. They, 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 they it's gonna say it pretty much. It says, and a corruptible, a corruptible man, and to birds, and to four-footed beasts, and to creeping things. So you made all these different gods that had no power to save you. And the most high power, son, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, was the only way out. You you turned away from it, man. You believe a little statue in your damn corner of your house was gonna be able to protect you. From the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. <sighs> Let me jump up to 18. It says, For the wrath of the Most High Power is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth of the truth in unrighteousness. See that the Lord is not playing, man. The wrath of your Lord is here, is revealed. And we're going to continue to push his word out to the Lord. Removes, of off, removes us off the highways and byways and removes this, this internet from us to view it. Because this is the final the final call, man. We're getting down to the final call. Because the Lord has something major planned. As you've seen, they said all these Chinese nationals are, have entered into the uh, country. 
and they don't know where they at, man. And, and, and you already, everybody should know that China and, um, and America is at war, man. They're, they're at a cold war until it goes hot. So everybody is, 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 is should be up on, pretty much up on everything that's going on online, man. From Facebook to YouTube to um, to Insta uh, Instagram to shit TikTok, everything everything has been put out there, man. So it's, no, it's not going to be an excuse, man. This is Jeremiah thirty five and fifteen. It says, "I have seen, I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, raising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now, every man from this from his evil way." And mend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given you, and to into your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. See that the Lord telling you, He, he raised the men of the Lord up for the start for the apostles, the elders, a great millstone, down to, to young brothers like us, man. It's in His truth, this pushing His word daily. He raises up early to push his word out to you, but you didn't want to hearken, man. And that's going to be the lot of lot the end of a lot of people, man. That's going to be the end story. I knew them brothers were saying something, man, but I I I, I had to do this, man. I had to go to work, man. I want to stop and see what those brothers were saying, but man, um, they were just out there, man. I, I didn't like the way they was dressing. They was talk, talking about the, the white man was a devil, and I work with white people, man. My baby mama white, and all these different excuses. But they didn't take heed that the Lord was in that presence, in the presence of those men that was out there on the highways and byways, man. And you could have been saved from the destruction that the Lord had prepared for this place, but you refused it, man. This is Jeremiah 26, and I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, Thus say Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, stand in the courts of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah which come to worship in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai's house. All the words that I command thee to speak unto them diminish not a word. So the Lord sent the men of the Lord to speak to you in all the four corners of the earth, man. And the word that we gave you was exactly what Yahweh by Shem Yahushai wanted us to give you. We diminished not a word. We told you straight, straight and plain, man. We told you about the MOTB, which is the mark in Revelation 13. 16 through uh, eight, 18. We told you about um, the time of Jacob's trouble. Told you about martial law. We told you about um, the plagues, the pestilence, the disease warfare. We told you about all of that, man. We told you how to repent. We told you how to pray. We told you the way to your how about Shimei Shah, man. So we did not diminish a word, man. We gave it to you straight and skinny, man. Verse 3 says, If so be, they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way, that I may repent me of the evil. Woo. So the Lord gave you a way out, man. He gave you an opportunity to repent, and He will be you will be covered, man, by Him and His angels, man. The Lord said you will give the angels charge over us, but the Lord said He gave you a way, man. Verse uh, the end of three again. It says that I may repent me of the evil. And man, we can't even get mad at uh, anything the Lord do, man. You jack your mama, or brother up, your daddy up, man. You can't. How you gonna get mad at that, man? We gave you the way. And the three says, which I pr propose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings, man. And thou shalt say unto them, thus say how by Shemi Shah, if ye will not hearken to me to walk in my law which I have set before you to hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. See that? You, have, you are not going to have an excuse when the Lord judges this place, man. If you haven't repented, man, you, you're not going to have an excuse. The Lord is, gonna, is not going to have any mercy on you. And we know that for a fact, man. Because you're going to be judged just like Esau, man. You're going to be joining Esau. You think like Esau, man. Your God, your, your, your God, man. Your father, the devil, man. So the Lord is not going to have mercy on you, man. Because this, this is the only way out, man. 
And I, I, I don't know why the Spirit always had me say that this is the only way out, it, which it is, man. That's a true statement. But the Spirit had me to say this is the only way out. This is the way the Lord had us to go, man. This straight, narrow path, man, where only one can go in at a time. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 13. It says, bring no more vain oblations, incense. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and your Sabbaths and call and, your, and the socket. Let me slow down. The calling of assemblies. I can I can't away. I cannot away with them. It is iniquity. Even the solemn meetings. The, even the solemn meeting. And it's talking about all your holidays, man. All your your, your church holidays that you celebrate. Christmas to Father's Day, Mother's Day, all those pagan days that is not of you how about shimmy out shot the lord said there was vain oblations man the lord is not uh, the lord is not recognizing those man 14 it says your new moons and your appointed feast my soul hateth they are a trouble unto me i am weary to bear them see that the lord is tired of watching you do wickedly before his face man and not giving him any glory so the lord done is 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 is, is done away with that he's tired of that that's 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 an abomination to him, man. He's done away with. He's tired of looking at that, man. Fifteen, it says, and when ye spread forth your hands, when you pray, I will hide my eyes from you. See that the Lord is done. He's tired of that, man. He's tired of people not giving glory to him and his son, man. He's tired of that, man. That's why he said, when you pray into him, he's gonna hide his eyes from you. He don't want to see that, man. You, you're not giving him the proper respect. You're not giving him the proper prayers, man. So this, this is this is a this is a deadly thing, man. We're dealing with, man. We're dealing with the Most High Power, man, the Creator of all things, man. This is deadly, man, because the Lord is an austere power, man. He 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 he's not going to play, man. Fifteen again, it says, and when you when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you, yea. When ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Woo! To get rejected by your house, by Shem Al Shai, man, is one of the. I ain't gonna say one. I'm mean, the only thing that you're gonna be ashamed of, man. You ain't gonna be ashamed of your old lady leave you, your your, your girlfriend, you know, your girlfriend break up with you, or your boyfriend break up, your husband leave you, whatever. That ain't gonna be a shame, man. But the Lord to reject you, man. A shame ain't even a, 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 a word that is. Even be can be even compared to that, man. But man, that's man, I, that's one thing I, I never want to have, man. The Lord reject me, man. The end of 15 it says, Your hands are full of blood. Now, let me get that in another translation, man. Let's get this in another translation. That's a heavy, that's a heavy precept right there. Look at the computers there. Computers slowing up now. Every time I get the rolling in the spirit. Computer starts slowing up. Let me read 16. It says, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. That's what the Lord is asking you to do, man. Cease from doing evil, man. You're eating your shrimp, crab, pork, lobster. Not referencing the Lord through, through all your, your day, your nights. You know what I'm saying? When you go to sleep, man, you, you, you celebrate all these pagan holidays and not referencing the Lord, man. So the Lord has done away with that, man. He's 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 through with that. And see the computer's not slowing up, man. Let me I only got a couple more scriptures. Let me see if I can get another. Let me see if I can get in this Bible right here. So lock here, man. Every time I get the roller in the spirit, man, uh, the, the computer started to slow up, man. This is Jeremiah 7. I just got a couple more, then I'm gonna end it because Computer started to slow up. Jeremiah 7, I'm um, going start at verse 25. It says, Since the day that the, your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day I have even sent you unto you all my servants to prophets, daily rising up early and sending them, man. So from the time the Lord brought us out of Egypt, he sent his prophets to continue to prophesy to you the ways of your by Shimei al even to this day, man. So the Lord gave you a way out, man. He gave you a ticket to get on the, on the chariot. This is the ticket. All you got to do is sign your name on it, man. 
Get your ticket on that chariot, man. 26, it says, Yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. And that's, that's plain, man. The children of Israel, two-thirds of our people have done worse than their fathers, man. And the Lord gave them a way to get on that chariot, man. 27, it says, Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them. The men of the Lord are speaking all these words unto you. But ye will not hearken to them, to thee. So like it. it says, Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. The, 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 <laughs> these people don't have a clue. The Lord has given them a way out, man. They want to continue smoking their weed, getting high, partying, bullshit. Meanwhile, the the tanks and all the military equipment is surrounding Babylon the Great. And these people want to continue to bullshit, party and bullshit, man. Party and planning trips and cruises and <laughs> motherfuckers is out of your damn mind, man. Where was that? Uh oh, 28, he says, But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyed not the voice of Yahweh by Shem Shah. See that? Two-thirds of our people will not obey the voice of the Lord, man. It says, their power, nor receive, nor receive with correction. See that? They didn't want to have correct. You don't want to have correction, man. And a father, as you do your children, you, 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 um, you punish them, man, for correction. If they do something wrong, you punish them. Shit, just, shit, you can see on the like, NBA, shit, you do something wrong, they'll punish your ass, man. They'll fine you, same as uh, NBA, football, baseball. They'll punish you, man. As a grown man, they'll punish you, man. You won't get paid. So your, your job, they'll suspend you. So the Lord, if you don't want correction from the Lord, but take the correction from your job or or, or, or see these men uh, these men on, on the sports, NBA and shit getting punished, that's for correction. So they won't do it again, man. John Moran is a good, uh, good example, man. What they trying to do to him. It says, truth is perished. And is cut off from their mouth. See that? They speak no truth, man. It says, cut off thy cut off thy hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places. For Yahweh by Shem Yahusha have rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. Man, I don't know what else what else you can get out of this scripture, man. The Lord had this is the generation of his wrath. That's what, that's what I'm going to call this lesson, man. The generation of his wrath. So the Lord has rejected two-thirds of our people, man. And that's the generation of his wrath. For the children of Judah have done evil in, in my sight, said Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. They have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name to pollute it. Man, can't go, get no deeper than that, man. <laughs> These scriptures are plain, man. You can't get no deeper than that. Let me get one more. Let's get um, Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of, of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Whoo! And the warning has went out, man. And la la. Lord, what is a lesson was edifying? I'm in it there, man. Shalom. Shalom.